Hey y'all, welcome to Resale Therapy. My name is Kidlet or Tracy. I sell on Macari and eBay. And this video is about what has sold in the last, holy cow, three weeks. <laughs> I will get better at this. I appreciate all of you. There's only 21 of you, but every single one of you I appreciate. So thank you for being here. And if you're not one of those 21 and you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm trying to get into a regular routine of this and it helps to see the numbers of the people that have joined. I appreciate every single one of you, whether you're joined or not. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, the bell, all the things. Um, and let's get into this, all right? So the last time I shared my solds, this is the setup I had. So we're going to do it again. This is my Mercari sales and I sold 17 items. So this first item is from Goodwill. It is a peacock cup and saucer set with applied 3D beautiful feathers and even has gold trim. I did not realize how modern this was or that it was one of the rare gorgeous pieces coming out of Wish of all places. Originally it came with a spoon but mine sold for ten dollars. Um, other people have sold it for a lot more. I don't know how much they were on Wish. This next item was from the bins or the outlet as I tend to call it. It is a tablet holder and or case padded with the Mad Hatter on it, sold to a young lady who loves Alice in Wonderland like I do. It maybe cost me 50 cents and sold for $14. Oh, how I love Jim Shore. I love finding it and I love selling it. This I found at Goodwill for about $3.50. It was in the box with the phone, which made it easy to ship after it sold for $18. So I've been trying to step out of my element and embrace that brass. And I found this little footed tub and it was so cute. I snagged it without even looking at it to figure out what it was besides a little tiny brass tub. It turns out it is a soap dish, but you could use it as a planner too, I guess. So cute, and it sold for $13. Not bad for a $250 investment, and I believe that was at Goodwill. This is one of those items that watching the other resellers on YouTube has paid off. This little Mexican folk art cat is redware, and on the back of it there is a painting of a wedding or a ceremony of some sort and all those elements on this cat I learned from watching YouTube. I bought it for $2.50 at Goodwill and it sold for $13 even though it was a little faded. So here we go with the pay to learn lesson this episode. These Coca-Cola die cast spreaders. <laughs> I bought them for $6. You know Coca-Cola sells, they were hefty weight, they're gorgeous, but nobody really uses spreaders like this much. And I paid to learn that lesson. They sold for $10. So after fees and everything, I didn't break even, but I didn't make a lot either. So never again. I am super excited to share this next one. I jumped in both feet and bought two jewelry jars from Goodwill at 25 bucks a pop. This was in one of them. It is a Brighton Clamper bracelet with mixed metal. Gorgeous. Comfortable. They averaged out about 75 cents a piece in the jars, so I spent 75 cents and made $35. Paid for one and a half of the jewelry jars, or thereabouts. Okay, so quick tip. For those just starting out, do not dismiss those little miscellaneous bags of tiny items because you just never know what you're going to find in them. This is a Jim Shore ornament and it's not your typical Jim Shore. It's made of PVC plastic, but it is a little more rare in that it was sold as a quick grab and go gift for Christmas in places like Bath and Body Works and such, you know, places that wouldn't normally sell it. And because of that, it sold for $15 because it's not huge on the resale circuit, but it only cost me about a buck in the bag. 
So those were my Macari sales. I sold eight items, grossing me about $128, minus the fees and the cost of goods. I had a net profit of about $96. So let's move on to eBay sales, where I sold 16 items. So you remember those jewelry jars? This came from those as well. It maybe cost me 75 cents, and it made me 15. It is an AB rosary, and it is gorgeous in person. So it sold for 15. The bracelet sold for 35. I had a brace, a necklace that sold for about three. So between those three things, I have made back all my money and everything else from the jars is now 100% profit. The absolute best place to get stock is from your own house because you are not shelling out extra money and you're decluttering at the same time. This is a yarn zombie juju which represents bipolar and it was mine i had no use for it anymore so i put it up for sale and sold it for 13 dollars very cool item though so i believe i bought these at the bins so they probably cost me about a dollar these are i hope i'm saying this right boating balls they're meditation uh, balls. They have chimes in them and you're supposed to be able to rotate them in your hand and meditate. They cost me, like I said, maybe about a dollar and I sold them for $7.50. I always knew that Tinker Toys sold well, but I didn't realize how well. I grabbed this at Goodwill for $5. It was a bucket originally of 250 Tinker Toys. I counted out 161 Tinker Toys, um, but it didn't matter because they sold for $45. And that is simply amazing. Yeah, always grab the Tinker Toys, especially if they're wood. In that same shopping trip, I bought these Connects. Uh, still in the bag, never been used. Everything was accounted for. The connects were still sealed in their individual bags. I paid $4, and that might have been a bit too much, or I was too impatient and wanted to sell it right away because I took a best offer of $10.50. So either I won't be buying these again, or I will wait for my asking price. I'm starting to realize I am a sucker for art pottery. And this thing, stunningly gorgeous. Love it. There's a fruit veggie strainer, um, that beautiful blue glaze with that swirl of gray down in the center. I love it. I paid about $3.50 for this, and it sold for $15. And like many things I buy, if it hadn't sold, it would have had a home here. Always, always go with your gut and buy what you love, even if you don't want to keep it, which is fine. This is a Metzk, I think I'm saying that right, vintage pewter letter opener, and I love it. And yeah, I would have kept it. I bought it for maybe a dollar at St. Vincent's de Paul, St. Vincent de Paul's, and I sold it for 15. And luckily I didn't have to keep it because I totally would have. What is a post without Pioneer Woman? At least a post for me. Um, this is a collection of bowls that I've been slowly accumulating over some time. Um, the sets aren't complete. Some of them have a little bit of damage and I threatened to sell them at about five bucks a piece, but instead I took a best offer for $20. Not the greatest sale, but they maybe cost me $10 total, so not bad. Now, I don't think I've brought this place up before. I got these at a place called Falling Prices that deals only with Amazon returns and I got them at a 25 cent day. They're called pin mates and they are of Batman, Robin, and Alfred. So 75 cents spent and I got six dollars for them. This is such a precious mug. I guess it could also be used as a planter. This little kitty cat with its little four legs and tail and ears, so cute. I paid a dollar fifty at Goodwill, and because he wasn't going anywhere quickly, I took a best offer for five ninety. I don't know if I should have waited longer or not, but he has a good home now. 
I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I believe it's Yukegko. Yukegko. It's a pitcher vase and it's very adorable. It's got bright cherries on one side and mixed fruit on the other. Very delicate and dainty. So adorable. It cost me $1.50 and I sold it for $7. This is an item I got from a miscellaneous little bag. It maybe cost me on average $1.25 a piece in the bag and it sold for $18. It is an etched piece of verdite. It is signed by the artist and was a souvenir piece from somewhere in Africa. It didn't say exactly where. And it sold for $18. That's why I say always check those bags. You just never know. So just before everything shut down, I hit a garage sale. So this was back in March. <laughs> and this little mask cost me 25 cents. It's a heavy metal. I thought it was just fabulous. I finally got around to posting it and it sold for $6. So I purchased this cat at Goodwill. Now, I don't know if this was originally a kit or if it was purchased this way, but it wasn't very heavy and it was supposed to be a doorstop. So I'm leaning towards kit that they didn't want to use as a doorstop. Anyway, it cost me $2.50 and I sold it for $20. Now when I saw this next item, I couldn't snatch it off the shelf fast enough because it is just everything. It is a single person ashtray with a nurse on it in the shape of a bedpan that says butts only. Like, does that not scream vintage 40s, 50s to you, World War II? Oh my God, this thing is perfect. I bought it for about $3 and I sold it for about $25 and I was not going to budge on that price and there was a lot of interest. Loved this thing. My last item is this four disc set of Lord of the Rings Return of the King extended edition. Oh, I'm sorry, super extended edition in the box set. Uh, I maybe paid 50 cents in the bins for this and it sold for $7. And that's it for my eBay sales in the last three weeks. 16 items with a total gross profit of about $2.35. Subtract the fees and the cost of goods, and you get a total net profit of about $150. But then you add in my Macari sales, and the total net for the three weeks is $247 and some change. So still, I am very happy that I am sticking to selling on both platforms. So that's it, the last three weeks. And you know, I've done worse. I may have done a little better last time, but I've done a lot worse. Of course, that was for a whole month. This is three weeks, so eh, okay. I mean, the money has come in handy for little emergencies here and there, and it's I've been able to do stuff um, and put it back into purchases. In fact, I just got a box of jewelry from Blue Box Goodwill. So look for that video coming up. Um, and I'm wondering if I should even bother processing the net and gross. And here's why. Uh, the money I spend on cost of goods, I really don't see it as spending on cost of goods. I see it as spending on my hobby and on my recreation. Uh, I know that sounds sad, but in the world we're in right now, there's not a lot to do. Um, and, and so that's my, my getaway, my, you know, spending money to have fun. So if I spend 40 bucks to go out and rummage through a thrift store, do I really want to say that it's a business expense? I mean, okay. Yeah. In the books, sure. But I shouldn't get bummed out about it because it's paying for my trip. My trip is paid for every week. And there's things in the trip that I buy for me or the kids or Bruce. So I don't really see it as an expense because it's paying for in what I buy, you know? 
Um, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. I would love it if people started giving me feedback. I see that you watch. It would be wonderful if you talk to me. So until next time, enjoy shopping, enjoy selling, and I'll see you next time. Bye!